it's cold. I'm not turning my heater off. So if you hear a little buzz in the background, sorry, I didn't want to freeze to death. With that said, let's get into this video. I'm going to be showing this desktop something that I've been customizing over the past year. It is public on the GitHub, but I wanted to take it from a new perspective, a blank desktop, so people could just take this and, you know, I could show you how to build it and then actually just show its usage as well. I'm going to put timestamps below, so if you only are here for the usage portion, you can just skip forward. This is all the same for the most part of what was used on Titus Pi. So uh, if you have a Raspberry Pi and you kind of want to mess around with this tiling window manager theme, by all means you can. Uh, I'll leave a link to Titus Pi down in the description as well. With that said, let's just jump right into it. Get on the desktop. I'm going to be showing you uh, Pop! OS stock with absolutely nothing done to it, and we're going to change it into this theme. All right, I first pulled up GitHub, Chris Titus Tech, Titus Awesome. On this web page, you'll see kind of everything what to expect. The actual theme itself, this is what we're end results going to be. We're just going to have a top bar here. From the workspaces on the left hand side, your open windows up top here in the middle. And then you also have just like the sys tray. This is a layout manager and then just the time on the top right. And I'll show you how to customize some of this as well. With that said, let's jump right in. We'll get all the dependencies for the install here. So let's copy this and then we're just going to open up a terminal and paste it in. Now, this is really not that much stuff. It's only like maybe 20 megs or maybe 30 or 50 megs worth of stuff. Uh, not that much at all. Uh, I am going to install Terminator right here. This is the terminal I'm using. I'm probably going to be switching this out to Lilikri because it's just what most people are using nowadays and it's a bit faster. Uh, I know speed's not really that big of a thing in terminal, but at the same time, I probably will be switching that out soon. And then we need to also get our little icon theme and install it. The beauty of this is we can put it on any system. This can be Arch, it can be Debian, it can be any type of Linux distribution. We can put whatever it is on top of it. And I've made two different spins with slight customizations depending on what distribution you're starting with. Since Pop! OS is Debian based, it's going to be all Debian based. Obviously, if you're using Arch, you'll use Arch-based or Manjaro. It'd be Arch-based as well. So we'll clone the configuration now. So we're just going to clone the Debian branch and put that into our terminal. And that's done. So now that this is installed, we're going to boot into this desktop. It is literally that simple to actually get in so, and log out. Now, some desktop environments, I prefer a full reboot here. So when you log out, you're presented with this screen. You'll just click your name, and then in the bottom right of Pop! OS, you'll see this little cog, and you just select Awesome. Now, if you're on like KDE, it's actually right next to it, so it's very easy to do. You just select the little, little picture icon. It almost looks like this icon like that, and then select Awesome there. So then we just sign in, and we should have our Awesome desktop. And sure enough, there we are. To start off with here, let's go ahead and pull up the cheat sheet. And that is Super and F1. So that's how we bring this guy up and we'll just walk through the whole theming aspect of this. You'll notice there is no wallpaper, which we just need to add wallpaper to make that happen. So to finish the install, let's go ahead and pull up our browser again and I'm actually just going to go super R to pull up our little combination menu. Now this is kind of ugly. We need to theme it. So we'll pull up Firefox. All right. Now that we're back in here, we need to set our Rofi theme, which using super R, you can see this is the new run command and this is how we get everything. So let's see what we have here. I'm going to go ahead, copy all of this. We need to make the directory, copy this config, and put it all in there. And we can do this all at once. I'll do super, super X to go ahead, put this in. And that's just Windows key. When I'm saying super, that's the Windows key. And Control Shift V to paste all this in. And then with that done, we should be able to hit Super R. 
boom, everything's themed. So I made that little script to, to basically just go ahead and theme most of this for you. Now that we have our Rofi menu, you'll notice some other theming needs to be done, right? Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Now, first thing is we do need to fix our cursor themes. So let's go ahead and pull up the GitHub one more time and grab our Capitine cursors. Now you can build these from source if you want, but uh, we're just gonna do the cheater way and grab uh, pre-built binaries right here from pling.com. We'll just go to files and we're gonna want like a white cursor theme. So we'll go ahead and grab these, download them and open with our archive manager. And then we just want to extract them to, and if you hold control L from our title bar, we're just gonna go dot icons and enter. And we'll just hit extract to here. Now I've already actually extracted them here, but now you see our cursor hasn't changed a lot. So let's go ahead and close this tab and we're gonna launch into LX appearance and change our theme. So we're gonna go material dark. Oh, dark theme. Thank you. My eyes are killing me. <laughs> it automatically changes the color. The icon theme, we're going to want to go papyrus dark. Gives it this nice, cool icon set. And then for the actual mouse cursor, we're going to want to just switch it to this. And as you see, when you switch, it actually changes it in real time. So now we have the mouse cursor in, and we'll just need to make this a little more uniform. Right now, you'll see this looks pretty perfect but some applications won't have their theming and that's the next thing we need to fix here so let's go ahead close that out and we're just going to copy this section now and we need to do sudo nano and then we're just going to go etc environment put in our password and then we're just going to go and uh, pass in a control shift v to paste directly into here write it out and exit Control O to write out, Control X to exit. You could also use Vim for this as well. It's my preferred editor, but it can be a little more cumbersome and not very intuitive for a new user. But you'll notice one last thing here is we don't have wallpaper. We, we, we don't want to be just staring at a blank gray screen. And we also need to change our file browser because right now we have the Brave icon. I recommend Brave, but let's say you want to use Firefox instead. Let's let's show how to actually change that as well. So let's uh, launch into our terminal. We're going to install a couple programs here. We're going to install uh, code real fast. And I'm just using code for easy editing of the file. I, I recommend it. Uh, however, I would like uh, VS Codium if you don't like Microsoft. And let's say you're trying to get away from some of the telemetry in code. VS Codium is the open source version without any telemetry. Let's go ahead and just go code.config. Awesome. This will bring up all the configs for this specific theme. The big thing we want to do is go into config apps.lua and we want to change the browser. Uh, this is probably, let's say we change it to Firefox. We'll change that. And if you want to change like the editor and other things, this is the file you would just change where everything is. Run at startup. Let's say there's certain things you want to run or don't want to run. I like have Synology Drive in here. Obviously you're not using that. If you don't want Steam to start up on startup, We'll just delete that. Now, this is an interesting one. We have Fay and Variety. Now, these are the two things I would recommend adding to do the wallpaper on this theme. Let's go ahead and save this out, though. We need to reload our theme. So if we hold Control, Windows key, and then press R for reload, now Firefox launches with our hotkey. Again, to get the hotkeys, you just go super key and then F1. And you notice we launched the browser with super B for browser and super X launches the terminal, super Q quits. So everything's done with just uh, right here with just your left hand, which is nice. But you probably wanna change the icon as well. Let me show you where those are stored. So we'll come back into our little browser and we'll go into config, awesome. And if you go under theme and icons, you'll see all these. And what you do is you can select whatever one you want. If you wanna use Chrome instead of Firefox, that's fine. And then you have Brave right here. Obviously just switch it out. So let's say I have Chrome already. Let's say we wanna switch this icon to Chrome. I'll come back into the, 
the editor. And then what we're going to do is just do a control shift U H and we're going to just look for brave dot S V G. And let's say we want to just change that to Chrome S V G. Obviously it needs to be in that same folder, but you get the idea. So we'll just go ahead and switch that out. Replace we'll quit. And then reload again. Control Windows R. And I spelled Chrome wrong. And now we don't have an icon. <laughs> let's let's fix that, shall we? All right, coming back. And just like before, we're just gonna go Chrome SVG to Google Chrome.svg. And with that switched out, we can now reload. And now you can see that icon change. That's just a basic icon change. And uh, let's see what else we want to do with this. Uh, obviously, let's do the wallpapers here. That's another big configuration change. We're going to put Variety and Fe in. Variety and Fe. Grab these two. Quit out. And I'm just going to do a quick reload here just to launch. I, I have an auto-launching Variety, so after those installed, just to reload, will launch it again. So we'll hit, hit Continue, Accept, and Continue. Now, there's a couple things that are happening in the background that I want to be... I have dual screens, so it's literally stretching this entire Pop! OS logo across my desktop, which obviously is not what we want. So I'm going to edit this a little bit. And we can do that by going into Variety Preferences. And the very first thing I want to do is just kind of change everything to be the home folder and then dot wallpaper. I'm going to just create a new folder and call it dot wallpaper. And if you're curious on the folder name, you, I'm doing that where it'll randomize and background fill wallpapers dot star. So that's that's why I'm making it this specific folder. And we're just going to put all of our favorite wallpapers directly into there. And you know what? I'm going to just grab stuff from Bing. Bing does a really good job with the wallpaper. So let's grab that. And you know what? Unsplash does a pretty good job, too manual downloading and we'll just put it dot wallpapers all right so to fix this wallpaper issue of it just trying to fill all the screens with that one wallpaper uh we're just we're gonna just pull up terminal go into dot config and go over to variety and we're gonna go into scripts so you can see what what exactly is happening here and again that full directory is going to be your home folder dot config variety scripts and now let's just edit it. You can use Nano, you can use Gedit. Uh, actually, for simplicity, we're just going to use Gedit so everyone can kind of see what's happening. And we'll just scroll down and go all the way to the bottom. You'll see something called right here, Awesome Window Manager. And you can kind of see what it's trying to do. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually just replace it with that Fay background fill wallpaper. And you can kind of see that is what's happening here and we're just going to take this one and replace it with this one and if you don't like uh fey you can also use nitrogen as well many people use it both really good at setting wallpaper but i'm just going to save that out and close it so now when i'm going to set level wallpaper let's pull up next and you can kind of see it just grabbed a new image from bing and if we want to select a wallpaper let's say we want something a little nicer. We can go something like that and set our wallpaper. This is just a, a different way of doing it. And you don't necessarily have to do it this way. If you have pre-done images that you don't want to download from the web, this is just mainly for people that want to change it all the time. But if you have like maybe 20 wallpapers you always want and you just want it randomized, by all means, all you got to do is come into here, go into your wallpapers directory, and then just drop them all right into here. And what I do... I, I kind of have a hybrid approach where I'll take these wallpapers and let's say I really like that wallpaper and I'll go wallpaper selector and say, you know what? I really like this one. I'm going to copy that to my favorites. And then what I can do whenever I set my wallpaper, you'll see that it just pops right into my dot wallpapers directory and I'll always have that image. But a lot of times, a lot of the images I might have for a day or two, and I'm like, okay, I'm ready to move on. But sometimes I'll run into like a, just a gorgeous image. And I'm like, I'm going to keep it forever. 
So this was mainly just to kind of get your feet wet with ricing a Linux desktop with like awesome window manager. This is probably going to be a monthly thing. I think there's a lot of value in this as there's so many better rices. This is just one of the first ones I've done. And I really want to take some of the ones that the community has done through like Unix porn and they have done an amazing job. Like there's some that just blow your mind, such good artists out there. And I'll probably take their work, kind of showcase it and show you like this coming from scratch from a regular desktop into just an amazing looking desktop. And it really changes the way you use a computer. I absolutely love this. And I love doing theming on Linux, but also, you know, when it comes to Windows and Mac, sometimes I'll change the theming there too. You can't do quite as much, obviously, so it's not as fun. But at the same time, it's it's a blast kind of making your computer, you know, represent who you are a lot of times. And I think that's what this really does. But with that said, let me know your favorite themes down in the comments. And let me know if you want to make this a monthly thing where I make a brand new desktop and we rice it out using one of the like top voted ones from Unix porn or wherever on the internet. And we'll make an awesome desktop. With that, I'll see you in the next one.